for DA students. Today we are going to be explaining how to remove a suture. We'll go ahead and get started. All right, first of all, we always want to start with our PPE, your personal protective equipment, your gloves, jackets, mask, glasses, or goggles. Removing sutures. So we have two different methods here. We have on cotton, which is a simple, easy way to do it. And then on silicone, a more tissue-like, more mouth-like way for you. So you get more of a feel of how it's really like. Um, the instruments we're going to use is a mouth mirror. You use the mouth mirror to always check inside the patient's mouth to see how the site is healing to make sure the sutures are ready to be removed. If they're cotton pliers, if they're hanging loose from the mouth, we know that they're ready. If their skin has grown over the tissue, has grown over the suture, we need to get the doctor for some anesthesia and if, how everything is healing right. So we always want to look first before we go in to just remove. The explorer can be used to help us remove the suture. If it's already loose, we can just go ahead and take it out with the, that if we're prepared to. You never want to just go in with this and just tug on them. It can be painful for the patient the tissue of the tissues around the suture. You never want to try to just dig at it. Painful for the patient. Doctor might, but that's up to them. Uh, going ahead and removing our sutures. I'm just going to put this to the side for a second. We'll do it on the cotton first. We will just grab our knot. I'm going to hold it. And then just cut right the Side it and pull it off. Let's do it again. We'll just grab our little knot. They can move. This tissue is loose. The suture is loose on the tissue as of now. And we'll put that to the side. And then we'll go to the tissue one. I'm going to grab a two by two or a cotton roll. We can use these if the patient has any bleeding. We could just kind of take these and I'll We'll remove our suture first. So let's remove one over here. That's why I'm gonna kind of tight. I'm gonna grab this knot. I'm gonna grab the knot, hold it gently, cut right beside the knot, and pull the knot. So if we had a little bit of blood, we could just take our little cotton roll, dab it out, or our two by two, and just apply a little bit of pressure and wipe off that bleeding just in case. Again, if the suture is still extremely tight, We'll evaluate that, cut gently and remove. And if you can't get the suture off the tissue, we then would get the doctor to come in and apply anesthesia to remove that suture from the patient. And there you have it.